All right, guys, so I'm gonna show you something that's going to help to stretch the extensors of your back here um, that maybe get tight from hyperextensions and other type of back exercises. But uh, Lauren and I actually came up with the name called the stiff leg cat stretch, and you'll see why in a second, okay? So you guys hear of like the normal cat stretch where you know, you're know you on all fours and you know, you're just arching your back up. You're doing the same concept here, except your legs are straight. So what I want you to do is your feet are about shoulder width apart. I'm gonna to turn to the side a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. You're going to pick one side to stretch, okay? So if I'm trying to stretch the left side of my back, I'm going to wrap my fingers around my right leg. So what I want you to do is wrap your fingers around or interlace them. I like to do that because they stay nice and locked. And I want you to put them around maybe your calf or honestly your ankle if you can afford to do that deep of a stretch. What I want you to do here is just literally with your fingers laced and locked, just arch your back. Think about pulling up. And what this does is since your hands are stuck here and you are arching up, this is going to increase this whole stretch here. And I know it looks funny and I know that the name is funny, but there are so many people that tell me, listen, I don't know how to stretch this. I don't know how to stretch the extensors of my back. And that's been one of the only ways that I can find is that when your hands are in a fixed position and you are literally stretching the muscle to the max there um, and holding it for a good 20 seconds, you're gonna feel it release and you're gonna have a lot less pain in the lower back. 